In today's video, we're going to be talking about the latest Divi update, and this update allows you to use Divi inside the Gutenberg editor, and this update is the Divi layout block. Now, before we get started, I'd like to talk about my special offer. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my Divi course, which is worth 497. So once you buy it, you'll be able to learn how to use Divi and build professional looking websites. Link to that in the video description below. And not only that, you also get a 10% off. All right, so let's take a look at this latest feature. So first of all, you need to make sure you update to the latest Divi update. So you can just come over here where it says updates. Make sure you click on this because sometimes uh, it doesn't show the latest update until you refresh it. So as you can see here, all my themes are all up to date. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to post. So this feature actually works with post and pages as well. So wherever the Gutenberg editor is, you're going to be able to see this DV layout block. All right, let's take a look at how this works. So if I come over here and click on add new to add a new post, I can actually, let's give this a name. Let's call this test post. All right, so we're going to be using the default editor because this is what takes us to the Gutenberg editor. So here we are in the Gutenberg editor and how do we know that? In fact, if you click this plus button, we can see that this is our normal Gutenberg editor. So if I add a paragraph, I can just add some text here. Um, my text. Okay, so that's how it works. And you can go in, make things bold. So this is how the Gutenberg editor works. But obviously, we are here to take a look at the DV layout block. So to access the DV layout block, all you have to do is to come over here. And where does this plus button, if you can either click on this plus button, or you can see it over here. But sometimes you may not see it here because uh, in my case, I've been playing around with this feature. That's why it's showing here. But if you click on this plus button here, you can see now we have this DV layout. So now I can go in, click on this layout and click on build new layout or I can load from the library. So let's build a new layout so I can show you how to add all your modules in. All right, so now that we've uh, clicked on that, I'm gonna click here on build from scratch. And let's say for example, you want to use three columns and in those columns, you want to add, let's say a call to action. So, in that column now, you can go in and use it as you normally would with the Diffy Builder. So let's say we want to customize this text, this title, I can just come over here, change my font. And let's say I need to customize this text as well. Let's change the font. Okay, let's leave it on regular. And over here, let's choose Poppins. Right, so the next stage is to remove this background and add a different color for our background. So let's come over here to contents, click on background. And uh, for this, we're gonna go with a, let's go with a light gray. In fact, let me just add transparency into that. So as you can see already, I've added my background. Okay, so let's say, you want to add your call to action button. What you want to do is to come over here to link. For now, we're going to add a blank link and now you can see we have a button and we can go in and customize that button as well. So to do that, I'm going to click on use custom styles for button. And let's say we want to add a background color here like that. Right, so as you can see, I'm playing around with this inside of Gutenberg. So uh, I'm just gonna save this for now. And in fact, before I save, I wanna go back in and change the color of this text because we can't really read it. All right, so to change the color, you wanna click here on module settings and then design text. And here I'm gonna change it from light to dark. But of course we can go in and add specific colors if you wanted to. All right, so I wanna save now. And as you can see now, we have our call to action here. So now I can save this. And there we go. Our call to action now is in place. But of course, I know this is not a beautiful design, but this is just to illustrate that you can actually go in and play around with this. So let's say we do a quick publish. So I'm gonna publish this post, and then I'm gonna do a quick preview. And I'm gonna show you some more uh, features that you can actually play around with to make this look even much better. All right, so I'm gonna view this post in a new tab. 
like that. So as you can see, this doesn't look really nice. So another thing that you can also do here is you can come over here to select layout. And these are the different uh, layouts that you have for your page. So if I say change layout, I can come over here and choose a different layout if I wanted to. But of course, I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, over here on the document, if you go all the way down here, you notice that you have Divi page settings. This is what comes in as soon as you install this uh, Divi layout block. So you can actually change this from right sidebar to no sidebar. So now if I click on update and then we refresh our page, you notice that our right sidebar is gone. And then back over here, you can still use all your features like uh, add featured image. So let's say you want to add a featured image for this post. You can just save it here, click on update. And let's do a quick preview. And there we go. So now our featured uh, image is in there and our builder is inside of our post. And also let's say you want to go back in and customize this. Now, this is something that I was really uh, struggling with uh, the first time I had a look at this. So if you wanted to edit this, now, <laughs> the main thing is when you see this D over here, you'd think that that's where you'd go in and click. But you know what? If you click here, it doesn't work, right? To edit this DV layout block, you need to come over here to this pencil icon, click on edit layout. So that's what takes you into the builder, that pencil icon. So for this layout here, I'm just going to delete... Uh, I'm just going to make this single column so I can just have my call to action like that. Now, you know what? This text over here is really annoying. I'm just going to go back in and just uh, fix that. So let's say I go into my design button. I'm just going to change my button text color here to white because that was really annoying for me. All right. So now that I have my call to action, I can go in, animate this. I can do all sorts of things here. So let's say I want to add an image. I can go in here, click on this plus button, add a regular uh, item, single column, and then I can add more items here. So you could actually add a countdown timer if you wanted to, opt-in forms and all that good stuff. All right, so now that I've done that change, I'm going to save this. And then we're going to take a quick look now at the change. So if I refresh this and I scroll down, in fact, I have to save it. Okay, there we go. So if I come back over here and refresh this, you can see now our call to action looks much better. So the question is, why would you want to use this DV layout block? Um, now, the reason is there are people out there that really swear by the uh, Gutenberg editor. They love it. And they also like using the default theme that comes with WordPress. Now, for those that use uh, or prefer to design their websites that way, now you're able to add the uh, Divi layout block and get access to all these um, modules that you can actually use on your website. So of course, right now, if we compare like for like, Gutenberg does not have as much modules as Divi has. And also in Gutenberg, you can't really customize a lot of these modules. So now by integrating these two, uh, Gutenberg and the Divi builder, this gives you the best of both worlds. So you can still continue using your, let's say, default WordPress uh, theme and also the Gutenberg editor. And whenever you want some uh, pure customizations and animations and all the great stuff you get from uh, the DV Builder, you're also able to do that. Now here I demonstrated this layout block on a DV website. So what you can actually do is to install uh, WordPress on a normal theme, the one that comes with WordPress, and then install the Divi Builder plugin. So by doing that, uh, you still have your theme, but you're only using the Divi Builder plugin. All right, so pretty much this is what you can do. Now let's have uh, let's head over here and take a look at the pages as well. So if I come over here to pages and click on all pages, um, I can go in and uh, let's create a new one here. So let's call this test page. Again, we're going to use the default editor. Now, this is pretty much the Gutenberg editor. Click on this plus button, and these are your blocks, right, from um, Gutenberg. And then if I want to add the DV layout, I can just click over here. This time, we want to do something different. We want to load something from the library. So there we go. I've got um, 
this layout here that we can add. So I'm going to go with the agency layout, use this layout. Okay, so now our layout has been added onto our page. So the next thing you want to do is to come over here to document and make sure that you come over here to where it says right sidebar, say no sidebar. So this will show, show the uh, actual layout edge to edge. So now that I have this all set, I'm going to hit publish and then we're going to take a look at this page. So again, I'm going to view this in a new tab. So there we go. So now we can see that we have this layout inside of our Gutenberg editor. And it has all the elements, all the images. And as I mentioned before, you can actually add animations. You can make, you know, pure customizations in this. All right. So now I'm going to click over here and uh, let's take a look at page attributes. Okay. So here we also have templates. So this is the default template. We can actually go with the blank template. So if I go ahead and click on blank template here, click on update. Okay. Now let's take a preview of this and then let's see what it looks like. So there we go. We can see the header is gone and the footer is gone. So this is actually used if you want to create landing pages or you want to have specific pages that don't have a header and a footer. So this is where you'd use that template. All right, guys, so this is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing that, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.